Welcome to another episode of Shogunauts Who Reviews. Three idiots tonight, camera and a review. We are looking at Buzz Toys White Wolf, a.k.a. Geralt, a.k.a. The Witcher. A.k.a. third-party 12-inch Witcher. Yeah. Now. A.k.a. Henry Cavill. 12-inch. 12-inch. Right off the bat, do you not buy 12-inch figures? I do not. Did you not buy McFarlane Witcher figures? I bought three. And did you not buy the Nendoroid Witcher figures? Four of those. Okay. So now he's got one that's so, big. So the question you're not asking is why. <laughs> it's because I'm a fan of the Witcher. So the McFarlane ones were disappointing. All of them. The sculpt was mostly there except for the face, which is important. And uh, Nendoroid's... Or Nendoroids, sure. Or Nendoroids. So I saw this guy pop up on, I think, 5K, and I'm like, damn, that looks awesome. I do not want to get into one-sixth scale stuff. However, there is an incredible-looking third-party Siri that I might get to go with him. And that would be it. So two and I'm out. Okay. But I got this to see, and it's kind of a mixed bag. I'm sure we'll okay. get there. Sure. I I am uh, amazed by the likeness of Henry Cavill. Cavill? Superman. It uh, is... Creator of Superman. It is on par with uh, Hot Toys and... Uh-oh. I ruined oh, it. Three zero likenesses. Great. <clears throat> So you can see one of the problems. Yeah. The likeness is fantastic. The likeness is fantastic. I feel the proportions are a little off. His legs look long. They're, or skinny, maybe? I don't know. Yes, there's that, too. There's a thing He's a big legs. dude, and he ha he, he's like, he does leg day. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, man, that face. The only thing I don't like about the portrait is the seam in the hair. Otherwise... I think the hair looks great. The face looks great. The eyes are so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's... On point. And, like, I can immediately tell that this is the Netflix Witcher hat. Right. And having a bunch of one six scale figures, I know a bunch about clothing and stuff not fitting, and he, he, he looks very good. As we have experienced, though, he has some extremely loose ankles. Yeah. Joints are ratcheted. In particular, the hips, knees, and elbows. I'm not sure about the shoulders. But the ankles are not, and the ankles are loose. So there's just nothing in there, and it kind of goes all over the and place. It's a apart. easily seen double ball peg, and that should have been ratcheted. Or solid boots. Yeah, something. Because what also happens is the pant can ride up, and then it are we separates. Sure that his foot doesn't go up more i don't see how it would okay cause, but like that joint looks crazy wrong i am unfamiliar with this company's bodies but the the, the costume looks very show accurate to what i know i mean he seems to wear a different sh costume a lot or close yeah. i mean if, if you get bare chested and close and you get an accurate head yeah it's the witcher Yep. And this is close with an incredible head. It is, yeah. What about his stuff? So one problem that I have is he's got this somewhat open scabbard on the back. And all of the promotional pictures showed him with one sword over the shoulder. Now, I believe this might be accurate to some episodes of the show. But he's generally got two swords over the shoulder. And there's just no room in the back to put a second sword. So I'll probably have him posed with a sword in hand. I learned about scabbards and sheaths. Oh. I'm going to get it backwards. Okay. I forget. Scabbards have a rigid piece of wood or something. Okay. Or a sheath does not have a rigid piece. It's more like leather versus wood? Yes. Huh. Huh. 
So one of the things he has, one of the accessories, is this incredible looking, almost Highlander-esque sword. It's extremely yeah. shiny. There are runes in there. Yeah. Wow. Um, a lot of sculpted detail. This is maybe the most metallic, shiniest sword I've ever seen. And he, of course, has two of them. I both like it and don't like it. Oh, my fingerprints. Yeah. So I, I like clean it that. because they look amazing, but owning a few replica swords, they don't ever look like that. Like, I don't have a replica sword that has a mirror finish. Well, you buy cheapo swords. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Not... So I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in the sword business. I am also not in the sword business, but they seem sword they seem closer. Like if you told me, hand me that, and said this is a letter opener, I'd believe that. I would yeah. believe it's a letter opener before I go. Oh, you got a 12 inch awesome <laughs> Witcher figure. Also, White Wolf is Elric's. So F you guys. Everyone is based on Elric. Yes, it comes with a magic hand, a fist, and another fist. So he can only ever be one sword attack? Yes. What? Comes with a pouch that I think might fit into the sword holding hand, but uh, it's... I honestly thought that was a leg of turkey. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it goes this way. No, it's a bag of cold coins. Most likely. He comes with the White Wolf Medallion wow. on a chain. It is very light, so it um, it's shiny. I don't know if it's actual metal. It feels like plastic. But uh, I'll pop his head off. No! He also comes with a cloak that his head needs to come off to put this on. Oh. Comes with some kind of giant uh, yeah. monster. Is that... Chicken foot. Cloverfield. Kind of looks like Cloverfield. I should do a retro review of my Cloverfield action figure. Get it like six views. Yeah. Oh, that was a Angry Magic Eyes. Oh, wow. Wow, can you swap eyes? No. Okay. Looks great. Yeah. Also looks good. I think in the show he becomes more pale when he's like this. Yes. So it's not quite like both of those are skin tone but this also looks great this comes with a stand i hate that type of stand adjustable height so that you can hook it up into his crotch okay. might actually be needed this comes with a knife set so the swords can slide into here and then you roll it up and then he's got you know traveling case for swords with belts that actually work. It's a little bit weird. Um, huh. But this is also in the show. Wallet attachment. It's not set. So that's everything that it comes with. Fine. So yeah, here he is all geared up. The medallion's a little bit hard to see, but uh, you pop his head off, you put that around his neck, and then the cloak clasps. There's a metal clasp. There's also a wire. On the front and the other one on the bottom too, not the bottom. So both sides of the front have a wire. You can pose that. I know you're a fan of these poses. Is this how he will be posed in your house? Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of this pose. I would say that this is how I was able to get him to stand. Without the included stand. Right. <clears throat> Real men don't use stands? Proving that it that? can be done. Okay. But you were looking up um, Lim Toys, other bodies beto w <clears throat> between scenes. Yes. And other ankles are not set up the same way that this guy's are. I could not find their limb action body naked. Yeah. To see if their ankles, because those ankle <clears throat> joints, like, concern me that they're not installed properly or something, but. This is my first experience with Lim, with 112th. Sure. And, uh, and it also has a weird plug for the head that just yes, it's all kind of it's all it's it's a little weird. 
I, w I was just seeing because uh, I have multiple 12 inch bodies right that I have dealt with and I was trying to see if like the ankles were misassembled or something but maybe they're supposed to be like that it seems to only be the way that it, that it is I, I believe you I'm not gonna mess with it and if you can get him in a cool pose that you're happy with he looks freaking amazing and if I was into The Witcher as much as you, I would be sorely tempted to buy this after the disappointing McFarlane Witcher. I will probably also use the magic hand and try to get him into some sort of sword and magic pose. Well played. Back to back with Siri. Purchase pending. Purchase pending. Final thoughts, gentlemen? I don't know enough about The Witcher. I don't know enough about the 112 scale or whatever this is. Gut reaction. That's fine. Okay. Three. Perfect. Berg? On looks, I would give it a five. Accessories, I would give it a 3.5 because the fact that he doesn't have a second gripping hand, because he switches hand, like, there are tons of scenes of him doing crazy sword food. <laughs> can't replicate some of those and I would think at some point you would want him to hold both swords maybe sure so it bugs me that he doesn't have a second gripping hand for the other hand I love that face sculpt uh, the, the ankles are a weak weak point they frighten me they look like they're going to break or fall apart I don't know um, and I hate that type of stand because it always looks like they have two nuts I like the ones that clasp their back better. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you can hide those easier and there's stuff. Like around the waist? Yes. Yeah. So with all that being said, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5 hammers if you're a fan of The Witcher. He is priced in the same price category as other 1-6 guys, even for a third party. And you're not buying this guy to have him fight and play around. You're buying this guy for a cool display piece. And he will fit that to a T. The swords are great. Yeah. The, the, the costuming looks right. It, it works. I would just be worried that even if you put him in, in a pose in a case, that if you don't use the stand, he's just going to be like, oh, I came home and he's laying up against the side of the case. Well, he's probably going to use the stand too, because otherwise I'd have to store the stand. Yeah. So it will probably get used. I believe I'm also going for hammers. So I knew going in that I couldn't, that I likely couldn't. I was hoping I could do something to get two swords over the shoulder. Sure. And turns out once I got it in hand, I can't. So that's kind of a bummer for me. But it's also kind of show accurate, so I'm not too mad at it. I'm trying to get a Netflix Witcher to represent my novel Witcher gotcha and this is pretty cool um as you said the face sculpt is incredible the outfit is great um it comes with a good amount of accessories but there could be more and certainly another holding hand so you could do or, or a magic effect yes a foosh. there are options but i'm happy with the ones that i have especially the swords and uh the head and he does have an expression to his face is not like like that's what he looks like most of the time in the show when he's not fighting things I don't know I, I think it's an impressive display piece which is what it is designed to be but the ankles are an issue Damn you. and I think with the cloak it doesn't make the legs as obvious but the legs are still an issue length and overall girth size matters Right on, it does. We'll end it there. Leave a comment below if you've seen these type of ankles before. If you have these type of ankles, please go to the doctor. Because why would you might snap? Bigfoot in the shot. Uh, like, subscribe, and thank you as always for watching.